So I did turn off the music, and I'm keeping the music off for now, but I am back. Uh, I was looking at the, um, let me check the forms one more time. Not this page. I love this page. No new private messages. So the first person that sent me a message was dun, 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 Raiden. I think it was Raiden. We're going to call him. We're going to see how it goes. Hello. Hello, is this Raiden? This is Raiden. This is Sarkin. Hey, Sarkin. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? This, I'm great. I'm great. I think, uh, welcome to my stream. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, this is the uh, first time I did this. Actually, no, that's not true. I had, uh, during the first week of August, when the SOE Live convention was going on, Tiggles was... Uh, down in Vegas, and he asked to hop and vent. I was expecting, like, an SOE report, but in actuality, all his shit got stolen, and he had nothing to tell yeah. me. So. so, tell me about yourself. How long have you been playing on this server? Well, I've been playing for a little bit over a year and a half now. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I'm part of TMO, so, you know. Oh, oh. That's going to cause majority of the channel later. just hated me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. But you know. Uh, so I have a question then. Did you, when you found this, how did you find this server? Uh, we were actually playing a bunch of friends of mine. We were playing World of Warcraft, and we're like, "Well, this sucks. This is nowhere near as good as EQ." <laughs> and they're like, "Wait a second. There's an EQ emulator server, and they might be good." And they were like, "We got to find the best one." So immediately, P99 was the best one. Right. So we came on here. And one of our other buddies we met through Valley was like, oh, yeah, I have like a level 30 character on there, but I never play anymore. So we went and we stripped that account and divvied up the loot between me and my friend, and we leveled a shaman and monk together. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> That's nice. At least you, uh, you were lucky in the aspect that you, you came with people. Yeah. EQ, I don't want to say EQ is hard because, I mean, really it's not. But uh, I will say it's a very unforgiving game. And if you don't have people to play with, it can be very, very excruciatingly frustrating. Extremely, no doubt. But, I mean, there's so few games that are like this, and it, this is literally the best experience for, for me, I'd say. Other games just don't, they don't add up. 100% I agree with you. I've, I've tried so many different games, whether it even... Um, be MMOs or multiplayer type things or what have you. <clears throat> and I've just never felt that... Like, I've never been terrified to peek around a corner in another game. And EQ did that to me. The first time I went to Soul B, I was terrified. Absolutely terrified. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, coming back to this server, I mean, most of the things, like, I used to be, like, deathly afraid of, but now that you know, I'm a little bit older, I'm a little bit wiser, not, not that much scares me anymore. But um, Seblis still scares the crap out of me. Those frog locks <laughs> are <laughs> overpowered. Oh, Seblis. I love Seblis so much. Yeah. It seems harder than it did on live to me. I don't, I don't know if the, the mobs are using the wrong spells or not, but it seems like I just get thwomped. And I, I never... Remember getting thwomped that hard. Oh man, it be dangerous. But I remember, don't remember being like, "Oh no, it's terrible." I uh, I honestly thought Subulus was too easy here, <laughs> or maybe different aspects. I hear what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. but like moving around Subulus seems much easier on this server than it did on live. I remember moving around Subulus was hard as hell for oh, yeah. a lot of people, and here people are just like, "Oh, I'm coming." Yeah, it it got a lot harder over like the, the year as the, like the invis changes and the c invis changes and then the aggro changes. It, it progressively got harder and harder to move through Sevilus. Oh. But uh, yeah, I'm talking like the the NPC spell books. I think you know everyone's been talking about that that eventually it's going to get reverted to classic state. But you know it's only a matter of time. Well, Cause right, I don't know. Right, 
right now because uh, you know Alithia does all the bug reports and does like the digging through patch notes and forum posts. So many players hate Alithia for yeah, the well, things that have been removed. <laughs> everyone, everyone hates Alithia. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he did some digging. No bug doesn't. Oh, no bug loves Alithia. That's the only yeah. person. But no bug doesn't play. <laughs> no, no, no bug. But no bug watches. Yeah, but the one good thing that Alithia did found was that. In Luckland, when they added the AAs and Resist went up to 400 to mm-hmm. compensate, they gave mobs full spell books instead of like 10 levels below or 15 levels below, and then they gave them like Resist checks and stuff. And apparently, mm-hmm. since you know all of this P99 stuff is being reverse engineered EQMU stuff, like it's still at that Looseland level of like spell books and Resist checks. I see. I see. I see. Well, I would say if, uh, obviously, I mean, if Alethea can find anything at all to support that timeline issue, send it to Nilbog. Yeah, apparently Nilbog is aware of it and he's working on it. it oh, probably, well, that's it's, good. Apparently it's like a big, it's a big deal to get it done. Very but, cool, uh, very cool. Nilbog's aware of it, so it's only a matter of time. I, I do know that, uh, speaking of spells and classicness we are working on uh getting the classic resists back into the red server i don't know if you know but they do not have the same pvp resists that you guys have on blue like when you duel or go to the arena oh no i didn't know that i don't really it's gonna make the best of the best not saying that we have plans for that but i'm just saying like if we had plans to do a cross server best of the best um, it would be very interesting because each server has a different resist set. Yeah. What about Blue's best of the best? Are you ever going to finish those? or Yes. That... I, uh, I was actually, that's a great question. I was trying to get uh, Red caught up, and so now it is. And the next best of the best will be on the Blue server. I just, I'm not going to be hosting it. Uh, well, I might, but uh, as of right now, I'm not going to be hosting it. And... One either Zade or Ambrotus will be hosting that, and cool. there should be something up. I want to say on Saturday. I think a post might go up, but don't uh, don't crucify me if that's not the case. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I promised I'd talk about Froglocks, and I'd feel bad if I didn't. So. <laughs> You know, every time I come on your stream, I bother you about frog locks, and right. I, and I love frog lock illusion, and, I, and I'm wrong. sad that frog locks may never make it to the server. They won't. That's the one. The one thing I didn't like. I feel that Planes of Power was the the golden age of EQ, and that's just my personal opinion. See, and so I it makes you sad. Certain parts were certain parts yeah. of POP. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, class wise and stuff like that. I think like. There were things that Lucklin and Planes of Power did to make like the hybrids not terrible. So right, I mean, right, I feel right. bad for anyone like playing a Ranger or Paladin. They'll never hit that Golden Age, or they're actually like, oh yeah, I can main tank just as good as a Warrior. All right, time out. Don't ever feel bad for Rangers. They no. do that to themselves. <laughs> so. That's true. I don't feel bad for Rangers. The only I... reason I feel bad for Rangers now is because their tracking is terrible, but that will be fixed soon. To be fair, they have the best tracking in the game. Don't they? More. Well, when the last patch, it caps it at 20. So you only see the 20 newest mobs in the entire zone. So, yeah. Is it the 20 newest or the 20 closest? 20 newest. Oh, that's fucking wrong. And you can try sorting it any way you want. It will still only show the 20 newest. Oh, that's fucking... That is horrible. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's just the word for that. That is bad. Yeah. Oh, well. If Nilbog knows about it... Yeah. That's, that's all that we can do. I am lost like ten motherfuckers in fear. Where are you trying to go? North. Just <laughs> north? <laughs> not any... It would be great if you had a compass, huh? <laughs> well, what are these compasses that you speak of? Oh, I found the firewall. I'm safe. You know, you can buy compasses in Akanon, can't you? I don't know. None of that... Or the shady uh, swashbuckler person. No, I'm talking about that awesome UI compass that Alithia probably destroyed. I don't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Alithia, but I blame Alithia for everything. I think it might have been. <laughs> I blame Alithia for everything. It's safe. That is definitely the safe way to do it. 
But yeah, my question is, since you're a GM and you have infinite amounts of power to abuse, why don't you run around as a fro- frog lock the whole time? Um, it would lose its, its, its zeal if everyone saw it all the time. Uh, now they see it and they get all giddy. They're like, oh my god, a frog lock! Ah! So, and I enjoy making people act like retarded little girls that just saw Justin Bieber. That's true. I, I will. I'll get all giddy for frog locks. I'll get all giddy for Justin Bieber. No comment on that one. Don't lie. Don't lie. You know you got that Bieber fever. Can't comment. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. That's all right. You don't have to. Uh, as far as like, in in realism, I could perma change my own race. I believe. Yeah. But uh, I don't want to. I was. Uh, I st- I've always been a dark elf as Serkin, going back to the other servers I was on. And so I just wanted to keep that the same. I have the same armor. I can't have my same weapon because Rogan uses it on the server now. So uh, when I came here, I had to find a new weapon, which broke my heart. But yeah, and I don't even—I don't have infinite power. I have—I uh, have finite power, and it's monitored. <laughs> I know one time Nilbog called me up and was like, "Can you get on Skype?" And I was like, "Oh man." And so I got on, because that's usually like you're in trouble for something. You know, it's like when the principal's like, can I see you in my office after lunch? And you're like, oh, man, think about what you did like through the first three periods of the day. Like, oh, what can I be in trouble for? What did you do? I didn't know. I had no idea. So I hopped into Skype like ready for anything. And I was like, you know, hey, what's up? No bugs. Like, hey, buddy, blah, 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 blah. Uh, What do you know about uh, silver bullets? And don't say Core's Light. And I'm like, um, um. And so, like, I'm thinking, like, what do I know about Silver Bullets? But then, like, is that an EQ? Like, did I ever do anything? Like, think, you know, think hard. And because you don't want to lie to Nilbok. And uh, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm like, the only thing I can think of in regards to Silver Bullets is that I think they and other silvery objects can kill werewolves. That's from like my that's my understanding of werewolves is that silver bullets can kill them. And he's like, well, you're kind of right. There's this item in. I will show it to you guys. Uh, find item. I can't spell right now. Silver bullet. So there's this item in the database called a silver bullet. It looks like a gun. It has the effect of lycanthropy. Now, fun fact, that spell's not actually in the database. So when you click it, nothing happens. But as you know, when a spell goes off, there's a message and uh, of the effect. And so somebody petitioned that so-and-so was right-clicking an item that gave a spell message they had never seen before. And they sent the message to Nilbog. Nilbog looks it up, sees it comes from this item, looks up the item, and sees there's two players on the server that have this item. One's been banned for like two and a half years, and the other guy still has it. So he and he sees in my event logs that I actually summoned one of these. I did a command si, blah 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 blah. Yeah. And uh, so and he's like, so explain yourself. And so I look it up. I look up the date and I see it was like a year ago that I did the si command. So I'm like, oh shit, you gotta give me a minute. This is like a year ago. I gotta look up some things, see what the hell I was thinking. And then it dawns on me that. And this is after sweating bullets for a good five or ten minutes. It dawns on me that this is a motherfucking no-trade item. So if I summoned it, I can't give it to another player. I would have had to do a give item command, which is different than the summon item. Yeah. And that would show up in the logs as give item. And then I pulled my delete logs and saw that I deleted my silver bullet three minutes after I summoned it. So Nilbog went back farther and he found out it was Uthgard who gave it to the player way back when and my Uh, good name was cleared but man was i fucking scared to death of nilbog was this before or after you were lead csr gm this was like six weeks ago oh wow (laughs) (laughs) yeah definitely lead gm at this point so nilbog can do that at any time wow oh yeah nilbog takes it seriously it doesn't matter how long 
I've been on staff since the fall of 2011. I became a GM either in March or May of 2012. I mix up my M months. We'll say May. Whenever Amelinda got removed, that's when I got bumped up. And uh, so, I mean, I've been lead GM over a year now. And, you know, Nilbog still, uh, and I'm not knocking him. I mean, it's a good thing. But he never gets lazy with the staff, you know. It doesn't matter how long I've been on staff. He's going to check my logs to make sure I'm not doing shit I shouldn't be doing. And it's good that the staff knows that happens because, I mean, let's say you join and you're a guide and you're like, oh, shit, like, they just audited Sirkin for no reason. Like, yeah. I better not fuck around because he's been here a year and change as a GM and and they're doing it to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, just I try to I'm supposed to make a post in my special thread every time I summon an item for a player. And so if it's not in there, it's like, oh, did I get hacked? I don't know. <laughs> like every time I ban someone, I make a thread. Every time I summon an item, it goes in the restored items thread that I have. Uh, so everything should match up. Either, And then, of course, there's the petition form. We don't delete any petitions ever. They get moved to resolved, and that way we can still search through your shit if we need to pull your old petitions. That's cool. It's nice. We have uh, we have lots of records. It's it's a pain in the ass to ban players because there's paperwork. I feel like a cop. He's <laughs> like, do I really want to arrest this guy? Like, is this going to be worth all the bullshit I'm going to have to do afterwards? I was going to say, if you wanted to make a game out of it, you should do like an hour segment where you like go around and answer petitions and like travel around like and play the cops music when you bust people. I think everyone would enjoy seeing that. I fucking did that the other day. I rolled into Soul V with uh, not blocking anything because there was rage fire bullshit. And I rolled in streaming with the cops music in the background. <laughs> it was fucking priceless. Do you have a video of that? I'm going to have to take a look at that later. Uh, you know, I don't think so. I tend to only make videos of... Oh, I do! I do! I was going to say I only make videos of like poor quality content. But um, I believe it happened during the discussion with the new guide, uh, Darrow Bale. Oh, okay. Yeah, I cut in late on that one. Yes, it's it's at the very end of it. Not the very end. I don't know. Wait till I go to Soul B. It's very faint. I tried to play it because I don't like getting flagged for copyright infringement when I put things on YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. And I put all my highlights on YouTube. Oh, okay. So, and some of my Saints Row 4 videos are not allowed to be displayed in some countries. Interesting. Yes, not all of them, so it's not the game. I don't know if it's some of the songs that are being played, or if it's my colorful commentary. But uh, I'm going to the page right now. I'm going to tell you exactly what it tells me. It gives me some bullshit orange. First of all, a yield sign should be yellow. It should never be fucking orange. I don't know never, what to ever. make yeah. of an orange yield sign. Should I be cautious? Should I stop? Should I cautiously stop? I have no idea what their, what message is being sent. But it says video blocked in some countries. And I click the link to say why. Why is my video blocked in some countries? And they just give me times. 18, 20, 13, 20, 24, 03, 208, 30, 11, 32, 35. And then I can either acknowledge or dispute. But for now I'm going to do nothing because I don't know. I don't care. It's still viewable in this country. Yeah. Makes sense. I think so. So, do you have anything else to share with my wonderful people here? Um, just some insight. Uh, Give when me your I first, insight. For, for, the way the rating scene was panning out, I was kind of cautious about coming up here because it seemed like it was a debacle um, going in like early this year. And right as I like hit the rating scene, you started like making the big rulings and you cleaned up a lot of things. And I want to say that the raid scene, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect, but the way the GMs, you know... Um, you know, have to lay down the law. I think it's a fair and good way right now. I think it, it keeps everything in line, and it's a lot smoother than the cluster, you know, the cluster fuck it used to be. Excuse my French. I love your French. So yeah. yes, I I did. I came in and I purposely was like Nazi power trip, uh, not power tripping, but very like 
you even look over the line and I'm going to suspend you. And I did that because I needed people to know in all guilds. Like I purposely targeted, not targeted, but uh, no, fuck that. I targeted guilds. And uh, I didn't know like which person I was going to get in each guild. But I purposely suspended somebody from like the top, all the top guilds, your guild included. Uh, just yeah, because I needed them to know like, okay, you know what? I'm not Amalinda. I'm not fucking Uthgard. I'm not Hobby. I'm not any of these fucking people. I used to play on this server. Uh, if I ever quit on staff, I'd like the option to play again. And I don't want it to be a shitty, horrible raid scene and entire end game. I mean, what fun would that be for me? You exactly. Know? Yeah, I think I think it's in a, in a really pretty good shape right now. I'm, and once Velios comes out, it's probably going to get loads easier since a lot of the content like is going to be so spread out. So few things are going to be like that big of a contested problem. See, I I don't see Velius helping as much as people think. Oh, really? There's like 30 targets. But here's the thing: how many people are going to be able to kill those targets? Besides I, your guild, not many. That's why. So, like, so hey, why like, wouldn't that's your guild be the go best after Kunark first? Not exactly. No one's good. Like Kunark, it's going to be you know wide open, and a lot of other Velius targets are going to be wide open because TMO is going to be buried back in like Temple Vishan and on the really hard dragons, wiping for hours on end. Maybe, so, maybe. I, I, see... I think getting us out into the harder content and letting everyone, you know, have the uh, the lower level stuff, you know. And, and I mean, it's not really. Right, a, but hold on, a let me thing to say about those guilds because a lot of those guilds, that's what their their levels at right now. Let me pose this to you though. Why do you guys not go after VP first then? You guys leave Both VP guys. up because you know nobody can kill VP, and you clear out the rest of the mobs. Well, VP is a special case because it's a no CSR zone. I mean, we can defend VP with three people if we wanted to. And I know people don't like the, the, All right, I can see the way that. VP works, but uh, I mean... The I rules are what the rules are. The rules are what the rules are. And They're not changing. Yeah, we go by the letter of the law, and... You know, we do that, and hopefully, I I know it's not been determined yet. At la last that I heard, that uh, Sleeper's Tomb, whether it's going to be CSR zone or not, I hope that it isn't. I do too. Um, because that way, I know TMO has no plans on waking the Sleeper, <laughs> and other other guilds, and I I won't. I'm not calling anyone out, but I know they exactly seem to have the intention of waking about. it up, yeah. which you know kind of ruins it for everyone else. Yes. I, I've heard the same whispers that you have heard, and um, I have whispered those same whispers to Nilbog, so he is aware of that. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Other than that, I think you guys really do a great job. The only concern I have when I hear like GMs get involved on like lower level stuff, uh, like rulings seem to vary from person to person, mm -hmm. and I don't know if that's how you like to handle it or not. <laughs> So here's the thing with that. We don't have like set and posted rules on a lot of things, and that's strictly because when you do that, uh, like if I say this is the rule, blah blah blah, then you're and not just you, all guilds do it. Yeah. But your team of rule lawyers is going to uh, show up in their nice suits and ties and their briefcases and be like, according to section 12, paragraph C, uh, Austin 316. We did not break this rule. And as a matter of fact, you broke the rule. So you have to ban yourself, and we get X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And, 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 and then technically, like when you look at the wording of the rule, they're right. And you're like, that's bullshit. That's not what this was intended for. No. And so I'm big on enforcing the spirit of the rule. And that's why it's not... Uh, publicly posted or set in stone at some point. And that does bring in the issue of what you said, where the, you have the same incidents, but then, you know, say GM Sirkin catches you doing this, and then uh, another staff member like Epfi or Ambrotus catches you doing the same thing a week later. They give one punishment, I give a different punishment, and then the guilds are like, ah, favoritism! Yeah. I do understand that. I try to make all the higher level shit go through me, just because I know that I will at least have the same feelings. Like, if I feel you need a week for this, 
That's because everybody needs a week for this. You know? Yep. I get it. All right. That, that clears up a lot of questions I had, but if that's the way you want to run it, that makes perfect sense then. It's cool. It's not the best system. Uh, I mean, granted that. But also, I'm, I'm not unreasonable. If you come to me like, yo, this other staff member banned me for three weeks, and this other guy just got a 24-hour timeout a week ago for the same thing, I'll look that shit up. And if it's true, you'll probably get your stuff knocked down. Now, I mean, there's factors that come into that. Like, well, was the guy who got 24 hours, is this the first time he ever did anything wrong? Do you have a rap sheet a mile long? Is there a special section of the forms dedicated to policing your activity? <laughs> like, some people, they're going to get treated different because they deserve it. Because they've already been given warnings. They've already had the 24-hour suspension and so on and so on. And they tend to not include that when they're making their forum posts about unfair favoritism. Uh, no, I, I like it. I like it that it can be varied, though. I like that each GM has, you know, their own style of handling things. That's, you know, that's and part of classic. They're different. Yeah. You know, you might train somebody in Soul B and only kill two people. You might kill somebody at rate or train at Rage Fire and disrupt 35 players' gameplay. Yeah. So, and that matters. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hold on one second? Sure thing. Do me a favor. Try to entertain my listeners for, like, 90 seconds. I'll be right back. Sure. Uh, hey, everybody. So, I'm going to talk to you about what Taken did at 4 a.m. in the morning. They killed Interoc. Which is really, really impressive for Taken. I, I don't take came out of nowhere. 4 a.m. Bat phoned it. Went up to hate. Killed Interoc. Mad props to Taken. Good work, guys. Um, it goes to show you that any guild, if you organize yourselves and you know get ready to kill a mob, you can kill a mob. Now, you might not get it every time, but yeah, Taken did good work. I'm not. I'm not too keen on them poop sucking uh, Draco lids right now. But you know what? Do what you got to do, guys. Do what you got to do. Other than that, Sirkin, just I'm a back. recap. <laughs> Sirkin, you said that the patch was supposed to be last Friday, and I was just giving people a little bit of recap. It's, it's some some cool changes that are going to be in the next patch. Is that the bearskin potion bag is going to get its combine button back? And I know that I have said the potions that, will yes. return. <laughs> I can confirm that. Uh, that and, and I think you said that the necros are actually going to be useful again in raids. Um, their, their, their their taps will actually hit. Let's then... say, let's just say, necromancers will be happy because I'm not sure what I'm allowed to say about it. Oh, well, I'm gonna speculate then, and you can correct me into or or not. The speculation is that the the hoops still no longer work, and that regular necro taps still continue to work, will now work again. That's the speculation. Is that hoops will work? No, hoops won't work still. And that necro taps will work, though. Oh, well, you know how it is about assuming. Eh. <laughs> I said speculation, not assumption. I know, but I like the assuming word better. Oh, okay. You kids and your whatever word you said. I don't even remember what word you used. That's how un, un uh, um, attention commanding it was. Hmm. Uh-oh, I have a petition about my stream. Sometimes these are not good. <laughs> Sometimes these are very bad. Like, can somebody please make Sirkin stop fucking streaming? It's like, why? I'm not even streaming you. Why? Why do you care? Um, this is... I don't... I have to read it in my head before I can know if I can read it out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, just hit blah blah. Listening to your stream at the moment, I know what you mean about girls hating when you're on the computer. Just tell her you're over 1,000 people's hero. Can you help me with my surname, please? 
So, A+. Plus. I get some good ones. I get some great ones that are like, you know, you, you, blah, blah, blah compliments. But some of them are bad. Some of them are like, I really hope you'll go die in a fire. Well, those people are just bitter. They're angry. They're very angry people. I don't know why they get so angry. It's, they weren't hugged as a child, probably. It's only, it's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Yeah, I'm telling you, it has to do with hugs and childhood. Yeah. So where are you right now? That's, uh, that's Nectalos, isn't it? It sure is. I'm following the some wh- newbie. He's probably like, what is this fucking guy? Because I don't think I'm invisible. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm just here. Um, he doesn't know I'm a GM. I love newbies that don't know I'm a GM. I try to keep my name as blue as possible. You know what would be really nice to do? I think you should have that skeleton that that guy's about to kill drop a guise of the deceiver. Do you know how many fucking people would get mad if I gave a guise to a dark elf? I think that, that that's what will make it amazing. <laughs> what, so he's going to sell the loot rights? <laughs> <laughs> no, tell him he has to loot it, though. Oh, man. <laughs> I find out five minutes later, like, one of your guild's alts fucking ran down there and bought it. For shame. Sorry, I'm going to use your guild as the scapegoat for just about everything that comes out of my mouth. Uh, I think our guild you're loves here. Our, our guild loves being the scapegoat. Go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> Like, I just, I, I tend to over-dramatize all the BS I hear in the forums, and a lot of shit I hear in the forums about your guild is fucking retarded. Yeah, well, when you hang out with Tiggles all day, it, it's... it's Tiggles like, entertains me. I don't care what anyone says about his Michael Sarah voice. Oh, no, I absolutely... Awesome guy. Awesome I love guy. his stream. I do. It's, I put it on in the background and just, like, do shit around my house. I actually went out to his uh, his comic book shop out in, hmm. near Philly, and we played uh, we played board games all night. It was sweet. A bunch awesome. of us. We met up and played board games. That is awesome. We played the Game of Thrones board game, which is a I really fun that. one. And he he did not win. So is that the one with it. castle? You gotta take like I think you seven castles to win or some shit. Something like that. I never. I think you just gotta win after like five turns. Whoever's like in command wins. Like, because there's like influence, you change each turn. Like, who controls the throne? Right, right. Who controls mm. all this other stuff? I it's it's, it's, it's complicated, but it's a like once you learn the rules, it's a pretty fun game. As are all good board games worth playing. I'm still a big fan of board games. My, me and my buddies used to have a game night, and then uh, it was these three guys who lived together in a really big three bedroom apartment in uh, Wrigleyville in Chicago, and. Um, we had game night, and you know when they first moved in, it was every week, and then it was every two weeks, and then it was once a month, and then it was whenever we could get together. And now one of those motherfuckers lives in California, but just got his first um, actual like directing gig for oh, wow. some goofy ass show on like History or Discovery Channel. Um, oh shit, oh, Mish Mafia. No, no, no. It's something corny. Like it's got like a dark Amish mafia mix. isn't corny, <laughs> not that kind of corny. It's like a like a dark corny. Oh, uh, I'm thinking like Diablo, but I know it's not Diablo because that's a video game. Speaking of other video games, I think everyone's a little worried when Elder Scrolls comes out, we might lose you. That's confirmed true. <laughs> you're, just gonna, you're gonna bail? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna tell Nilog and Rogan like, hey, I'm gonna pull a Rogan. Like he did with Star Wars, and that's going to be it. But who knows? That game could suck, and I could be back in a few weeks. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about that game. It looks a little bit too much like Guild Wars 2 for my taste. But you know what? I would be love to be proven wrong about any of these new MMOs. I don't think it's going to be very MMO-y. I think it's going to be more like a, a multiplayer Skyrim than yeah. anything else. If you played Guild Wars 2, it's not really MMO either. It's like you only have five abilities, and you just like spam them over and over again, and that was all you did. And you, like your abilities change with whatever weapon you were equipped. It's basically it's like a variation of the ESO system. See, I like how they're um, not allowing the... No, well, they're allowing it, but you get kind of punished for just spamming the same attack over and over again because everything requires stamina 
and if you're just spamming an attack, there's no cooldowns at all. So, I mean, if you know how to swing your sword hand, you don't magically forget how to do it for 90 seconds. Yeah. You can swing as often as you want to swing, but your damn stamina just goes and goes and goes until you're useless. And this yeah. game sounds like a lot of stamina management from what I'm seeing. And I have a wood elf stripping in front of me. Thanks, wood elf. Wiggity! Oh, it's Wiggity Woo! We love Wiggity Woo. Do Wiggity Woo's, uh, play with Wiggity Woo on my, uh, Ixar Warrior Downjot. Yes, he is here in front of me. He's good By people. the way, I have to say this, I'm particularly heartbroken, because I went and found you when you were in KC, and you did not turn Downjot into a frog. <laughs> I don't take requests. This is like the one, one of many, many slights my XR Warrior has received in the past three months. <laughs> oh, man. I remember one time I was playing. I was a player. And it was the first time I ever saw Rogan in game. I was like, oh, my God, are we in trouble? Because I was with a group in Sebelis. And uh, I was very lucky. I got invited. Um, I just shouted looking for group. And I got an invite from the Crypt group. And they basically said, if you can get to us, uh, you can join the group. And I was like, I will get to you. And so I did, and they let me join the group. And uh, maybe like 45 minutes later, Rogan shows up. And I'm like, oh, what did these people do? They got me in trouble. And he just came to like Ixar bomb us and disappear. And I <laughs> thought that was the coolest shit in the world. And so that's why I frog bomb people when I get the chance. I love frog bomb. It's the coolest thing ever. And if you don't like it, you could click it off, you know? Exactly. So it, it shouldn't, like, nobody should ever bitch about getting turned into a frog. Yeah. And if you, it costs you so much that seeing a frog ox in game drives you banana sandwich, you can, you know, modify your files so that frog ox will just look like humans to you. And wouldn't that be worse, though? Like, if you ran into EC and just saw a ton of humans... You see that already. <laughs> humans, elves, half elves, what else? They all look the same. Unless you're like a barbarian, a troll, an ogre, or an Ixar, you just don't look different. You just look like the same you know, human shape. Well, that's not true. What about gnomes? No, it's not true. Gnomes are just sexiness in a tiny little package. Of course, there's gnomes and the halflings. Not halflings. I was just Fuck generalizing. Halflings. Frankly, I, I'm uh, I'm an I'm an elitist with or racist when it comes to key races. Ixar, barbarian, or go home, or otherwise it would be froglock. See, I'm a I'm a real racist because I came from a team server, and so I oh. hate the darkies, and I feel I feel like going around saying I hate darkies really just adds on to the racism. Because people don't know, they're like, whoa, whoa, Sirkin. What do you mean you hate darkies exactly? <laughs> and I clarify, it's like, no, no, no. I played an Erudite on live. I got no problem with that. I have problems with dark elves, Ixars, ogres, and trolls. They should be murdered on sight everywhere across the globe. In my opinion. True. True. I, I mean, hopefully that PvP uh, server... If it comes out, teams, and hope it's good. If it's good, I'll play on it. Oh, right it's now, gonna be good. Right now, red, red is uh, red's just not, not, not looking appealing to me. So here's the thing: we think a lot of people are gonna come to the new server just because yeah. it's a new server, exactly. regardless of the rule set. It could be a goddamn like PVP with Sirkin gets to log in and death touch anyone at any time he wants. And people will still, and Sirkin gets to loot all your items when he kills you. People will still sign up and play on this server because it's a new server. And so yeah. that's going to have to be taken into account. But we also feel that uh, we're not going to forget about the red server. Um, we still have a lot of changes we're going to do before we even can, before yeah. we do anything for the team server. And I know you've probably heard we're going to merge them at some point. There's no rule that says it has to be completely one rule set or completely the other rule set. If feedback tells us that they like this, this, and this from Red and this, this, and this from Teams, we can just take what the people like and use that. Yeah, it makes sense to me. All right. 
I actually have to go uh, to it another call in about to three you. minutes. So um, if oh. you don't mind, I'm going to rapid fire some questions at you. And you can just say pass or you can answer as cheekily as you like. I love it. Do it. All right. First one. I'm pretty sure everyone's ready for this. When's the patch coming? Uh, supposed to be last Friday. Okay. When's Velios coming? Um, as soon as humanly possible. Do you have any idea if the beta is going to be coming soon? I... I cannot speak on exact dates, but we're still hoping for the end of the year. Awesome. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Two more questions. <laughs> Do you think the Bears or the Steelers are going to win? Honestly, be honest. Honestly, I think uh, if you would have asked me this two weeks ago, I would have said the Steelers. But the Steelers have been playing like absolute garbage, and if they keep it up, they're not going to win. That answer was correct. Also, all right, final question. Can I have a frog lock leg? <laughs> no. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for, uh, you know, sitting through and letting me talk with Sergin. And Sergin, thanks for letting me sit here. It talk was good. It, it keeps me from talking to myself for, for longer than I have to, which helps me stay not crazy. Awesome. Glad I could <laughs> help. So, yes, thank you, too, and have a great time. All right. Bye bye. Bye. That was Raiden P99, a frequent visitor to this stream channel. If you would like to get a call from Sirkin and have a discussion on this stream, send me your uh, Skype address in a private message on our forums at www.project1999.org. That is the only way I will add you. Um, I'm not trying to be lazy or mean, but it is a shameless way for me to get people to sign up to our forums. So head on over to www.project1999.org and sign up if you haven't already. Send a private message to Sirkin, that is S-I-R-K-E-N. All you got to do is put your Skype address. I will add you. And I'll even give you a call ahead of time if you want. Send me a little message in the PM, be like, hey... Call me ahead of time, and I will gladly uh, do that. I will not catch you off guard. So, not looking to ambush anybody. Just looking to uh, take care of some stuff. <laughs>